Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're going to be talking about Seymour Maps. Seymour Maps, it's a, a chip you can get for your GPS unit and it displays the ocean floor in really great detail. Allows you to see ledges, wrecks, stuff like that. We're going to be talking about our thoughts on it, how we've liked it, the pros, cons, and we're going to show you guys some examples of our depth recorder versus the Seymour Maps so you know exactly what to expect. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the images that Seymour Maps has. Now we're fishing out of Northeast Florida, so we have the Northeast Florida chip. Covers uh, some of St. Augustine, Mayport, up in Fernandina, I think even Southern Georgia, a little past St. Augustine, stuff like that. We went out fishing, and what I did was whenever we went over a spot, you know, maybe a spot I had or a spot Seymour had, I would record or take a picture of our, you know, our, our depth recorder, what it's showing and a picture of Seymour Maps. As you can see here, we're going over a ledge. You see that ledge running on Seymour Maps and you see that double echo on our depth recorder. You can see clearly there is a ledge there. So spot on, that was good. We went to another spot. You can see um, more, more ledges and you can see we're, we're seeing the structure on our depth recorder on the bottom. We're also seeing fish above it. So it really correlates well, you know, the, the spots on the map, I mean, they're spot on. So that's, that's really nice. You can see it also shows wrecks really well. There's a picture of a wreck, uh, looks just like a wreck. It's where our markings are. You can see a lot of fish structure comes up real high. They use the different colors and shading to really distinguish the depth. Here's an area where we were king fishing, uh, caught the spoil. And as you can see, it's like a perfect rectangle. It's actually kind of an artificial uh, created structure, you know, of, of different spots, you know, things put on the ocean floor. This is why it's like a perfect rectangle. And there's a, a scattered fish all over this. We were catching kingfish. The structure is really cool because before I just had an area and would kind of troll around the area. Now I can see exactly when I'm over the structure, along the edge. If I get off of it, I can come back and troll in it. It was really helpful. We were snapper fishing this year and it was really rough and I intended to go uh, 25 miles or so out, but it was so rough for like, you know, it's, it's just too much. Let's stop in shore at a different spot. And I went to a spot that I don't get a fish very much. I only had a little marking on it. And in this case, there was a boat kind of close to where my marking was. But because of Seymour maps, I could see that my marking was a ledge and it was a really long ledge. So I was able to use Seymour maps to go to a different spot of the ledge that didn't interfere with him. I didn't have to, you know, mess up his day you know, because it's the only number I had, I could go somewhere else completely. We both caught fish and that uh, worked out really well. So what are the pros and cons to Seymour Maps? First off, if you don't know an area very well, Seymour Maps will give you plenty of spots. You know, you can go exactly to it. I had areas marked. I realized the ledge ran more or there was another ledge nearby, all, all sorts of bottom that I didn't know about. You know, I've been fishing for many years offshore and I'm still learning new spots. So that's really cool and helpful. Over time, you might mark a ledge. Like I've got lines, I'm like, okay, that's a ledge. But with Seymour, you can instantly see where the ledges are and which way they run. Sometimes, you know, a ledge is running this way and it's easy to mark, but then it cuts back and you don't realize that. With Seymour, you see that. I think Seymour Maps helps you to fish more efficiently. For one, you can go right to the spot. You, you know, you don't have to get close and kind of hit it different ways. You can get right to where you need to be and it works well. Gives you a bunch of new spots. And with the way fuel prices are, I think this is quickly gonna pay for itself, you know, because I'm not running all over. I can stop at spots, you know, closer in or in between spots I didn't know about. I think it's really gonna save me time and fuel costs just by having this set. What are the downsides to Seymour Maps? Well, first off, it doesn't cover everything. I mean, it is not the whole ocean floor. So literally, they have a boat with a super, you know, awesome sonar thing on it, and it's scanning the ocean, and they have to drive over everything that's mapped out. They're just doing this big grid, takes time, energy, you gotta cover everywhere you want mapped. So, not everything is mapped. As you can see on this picture, it shows the Northeast Florida, and there's still a lot of areas not mapped. They got a lot way out, and inshore, there are some areas I like to fish that aren't mapped out. And depending on where you want to fish, you need to keep that in mind before making the purchase. 
It's also got some of the river mark, which is also really cool. So it's got all over, just not everywhere. But the good thing is they are constantly, you know, mapping and updating and exploring new areas. So I think Northeast Florida, they're on version two, but I saw on Instagram they were, they were back in the area doing more stuff, so they'll probably come with a version three. Cost-wise, as of now, the chip is about $750, um, which is, you know, kind of a lot depending, but for what you get, I do feel like it's worth it. I've got a lot of areas, it's been very helpful, gives me new spots, helps me to catch more fish. Saves on fuel, I think it'll pay for itself. Now, as they map more areas, you can get an update for about 150 of right now at this time. So if they do more areas, you know, you don't have to pay the 750 again, um, something like you take your chip out and you just mail it to them, they'll update it, send you it back with the new stuff. It's cool, they've got areas all over. You know, maybe you fish North Florida, but you also go down to South Florida, or maybe you make trips to the Gulf. So you can get chips in different areas. You can even get it for the Bahamas. All really neat places, uh, West Coast even, California, New York, all over. Now, another thing to keep in mind is this isn't compatible with all units. Go to their website and check which units it can do. For example, we have a Garmin on our boat, but they don't make, it's not, it's not for Garmin, you can't use it. So we're actually using it on our Raymarine system. Now they have options where you can get like a, a Simrad unit that can kind of link in, or like a separate unit, you can still, you know, CC more if, if all you have is Garmin or another non-compatible unit. But go to their website and see which units you can use and which models of the units. If you have a super old equipment, and it may not work, you're gonna wanna check that out. But otherwise, I've been really happy with Seymour. Um, been learning a lot, catching more fish. It's, it's really been helpful. I do think it's worth it. If you guys have any other questions or tips, let me know. We also did a live Q&A video with one of the uh, associates from Seymour. So if you guys want some more information, see some of the questions we asked, I'll put the link for that live video in the description. Let me know what your thoughts of Seymour of are. And uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll see you next time.